Matthew G, the latest child in the street to be diagnosed with leukemia, has been ill now for three years. After a few months in remission, he's relapsed. Now doctors say he needs a bone marrow transplant. The government should be taking more notice of the fact that electromagnetic fields and electro fields are recognised as a possible link with the cause of leukaemias and they should be taking the concerns of parents like ourselves more seriously than what they have been doing. The Energy Minister, Tim Egger, declined to be interviewed. His department told dispatches that it had received no new advice from the NRPB and therefore saw no reason to change its policy on the location of power lines. If the government won't act to keep people away from power lines, market forces may do the trick. In Abergavenny, houses near pylons are proving difficult to sell. It's the ultimate blow for families who've suffered as the result, they believe, of electromagnetic fields. Well, we, we put the property on the market for six months and uh, we had about three people come to view and, you know, when they see the pylons and the, the wires, they put them off, you know, so we had no chance really of selling. We feel we are stuck now because of this. Naturally, once Noby came ill, uh, he was worried to death about living here. Uh, so we put it on the market to try and relieve his worries. Uh, people have obviously looked at the property, but once they see these pylons, it puts them straight off. OK, somebody could come along and wish to purchase it. But what are you leaving them? What are you actually selling them? You selling them a death sentence? There definitely has been an effect upon house prices, and uh, mainly because obviously of the health scare. Uh, we are also faced with um, solicitors who are only doing their, their job in pointing out to prospective purchasers the closeness of, of pylons. And uh, again, we actually lost a sale at that the Mardi because the solicitor advised the purchaser that they felt that it might be difficult to sell in the future. A similar blight hangs over houses up and down the country. These homes are near the NRPB's headquarters in Oxfordshire. But if a young couple asked me what to do now and they had a big mortgage on a house in a suspect area and they tried to sell and they were worried about the kids and so on, I think there's only one solution, but it's a bit brutal. You give the key back to your mortgage lender, you file for bankruptcy, and you let the mortgage lender sort out the mess. If the developer asked me for the views on the, on the science and the epidemiology, first of all, I, I would refer him to the National Radiological Protection Board. It is for the National Radiological Protection Board to make recommendations on this issue in this country. I just wonder, would the director of the NRPB like to come and live in this street with his children and put them to the same risks that our children are at? In, in my home, there are sources of electromagnetic fields that are much higher than the average. Um, it, it doesn't worry me, based on the evidence that I've looked at from a, a range of literature publications. Dennis Henshaw knows that his research will fuel the debate about electromagnetic fields and the need for prudent avoidance. From the roof of the physics laboratory, he can reflect while waiting for international reaction to his research. Nobody is saying we've got to scrap electricity. What we've got to do is be careful how we use it and how we live with it. The implications are if all these links are made, then living adjacent to power cables, living adjacent to electromagnetic fields of all sorts, uh, is, is clearly a risk factor. We, I think we'd simply like to know, I mean, did it cause Amy's cancer in the end? And um, it, if it did, then we really don't want it to happen to anyone else. If there is any risk at all, those power lines should be moved. But while parents worry about the future of their children, at Nailsey, Westbury Homes is about to start the next phase in its development. Another housing estate in the next field, beneath the power lines. And details of a fact sheet on this programme will follow shortly. <laughs>